Can I eat my catch? Molluscan shellfish, such as clams, oysters, whelk, and conch, usually don't die from red tide, but become very toxic to humans and animals that eat them. Toxins can persist in shellfish even after a red tide bloom has ceased. Commercial shellfish harvesting is closely regulated and monitored by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. If a shellfish harvest area is affected by red tide in Florida, it will be closed. Never harvest shellfish from closed areas or if you're unsure. Shellfish affected by red tide appear normal, so there is no safe way of visually identifying if shellfish are safe to eat or not. Eating molluscan shellfish contaminated with brevitoxins can cause neurotoxic shellfish poisoning, or NSP. Symptoms of NSP may include nausea, diarrhea, vertigo, hot-cold sensation reversal, tingling or feelings of pins and needles, or numbing of limbs. Finfish, like snook, snapper, and red drum, process the toxins from red tide differently. So healthy-looking fish may be eaten if the inner organs and guts are discarded and the fillet is thoroughly cleaned under fresh water. If the fish appears disoriented or unhealthy for any reason, discard and do not eat. Shrimp and crabs are also safe to eat during red tide events as long as the tamale is discarded. Cooking, freezing, or rinsing seafood with affected parts in water is not effective in removing red tide toxins. Remember, the toxins in seafood cannot be seen, smelled, or tasted. Although you may harvest healthy finfish from areas affected by red tide, remember that red tide can still cause respiratory distress, itchy skin, coughing, or other symptoms if you are fishing in an area containing a bloom.